My name is Medet and this is the NFT bridge powered by CCIP. Unlike all the bridges, this is permissionless. Any owner of smart contract can bridge their NFTs without our permission. It's also trustless because all code is a smart contract, no service, nothing else. Each bridged NFT have its own smart contract linked to each other only, and bridging goes within those linked NFT itself. In the future, this allows to customize the bridging logic for a unique case of a token, which is not possible with the current solutions. For the demo, I use this example called Pond NFT, which is on Remix. I already deployed it on a Sepolia testnet. The first step is to register NFT. In the registration process, the factory creates a linked NFT on Sepolia, which will lock the original assets during the bridge. The next step is a setup process. I choose what is the target blockchain for my linked NFT. For example, I choose the Mumbai testnet. This will take a bit more time because the factory pre-computes what's the linked NFT on a polygon, then synchronize on Sepolia that address. Then it sends a request to a factory on Mumbai that it needs to create a linked NFT. When everything is ready, users can go to the bridge section. Let's see on CCIP Explorer, is our linking NFTs ready or not? On your MetaMask, copy the transaction ID of your setup. Then go to ccip.chain.link and look for the transaction ID of our setup. The bridging succeeded. Now we can use this NFT as your user. Since it's my first bridging, I need to set approval to lock my NFTs. This process is done only once. Let's say I want to transfer NFT ID1 from Sepolia to Mumbai. We can track the status the breaching on CCIP Explorer. Alright, breaching succeeded. Let's see the statuses. On Sepolia, we see that NFT1 was locked in our smart contract. We see it on the Mumbai. On Mumbai, we see that the NFT1 was minted as a breached hackathon NFT. This is all. Thank you.